Tomorrow, voters will also decide the Democratic winner in the 2nd Congressional District. Reporter Ano Salcido is here to break down that race. So tomorrow we'll decide the Democratic candidate for our state's second congressional district. Now our state has three congressional districts. We have District 3 up here and District 1, which are represented by Democrats. And then we have District 2, which is represented by a Republican, Yvette Harrell. Now Yvette Harrell won her seat in Congress in this old congressional district map here. But with the changes to our current congressional districts in this new map over here, Republicans worry that they could lose their seat in District 2 come the general election in November. Due to redistricting, the nature of this district has changed significantly. KOAT political analyst Brian Sanderoff says our state's new congressional district map could have a major impact on who will represent our second congressional district. The Democrats have a much better opportunity than they did under the prior district boundaries. The Republican Party of New Mexico argued that the new congressional district map, quote, dilutes Republican votes in congressional races. The, the second district, everybody always said it was very Republican. The truth is it was about 36 percent Republican, 36 percent Democrat. The new map moves the southeastern parts of our state that used to be a part of District 2 and places them in Democrat represented District 3. It also gives western areas of Albuquerque to Republican represented District 2. The second district was always well balanced. It was more than 50% uh, Hispanic my entire time in Congress. Steve Pierce represented District 2 for 14 years. Now, Republicans did attempt to challenge that map in court, but a judge ruled they would need to hear more arguments. The case was not thrown out of court, which could lead to more challenges. We feel like that, uh, that we have a chance to get the districts back to the way they were before. The Democrat Party of New Mexico did give us this statement saying, we are confident that the New Mexico Democrats will represent every one of our congressional seats after the general election in November. So tomorrow we will see former Las Cruces City Councilor Gabe Vasquez take on Dr. Darshan Patel for the Democrat candidacy. Our political analyst Brian Sanderoff says Gabe Vasquez may have the advantage in this race because he used to be a city councilor down here in Las Cruces and he's well known in Doña Ana County. That's the most populated county in Congressional District 2. Back to you. Angel, thank you. A Democrat has only been elected twice to represent the 2nd Congressional District since 1980.